Am I the asshole for announcing my pregnancy first? I am 26 and married to my husband and have an older sister who is 27 who I'll call Kay. For some background, Kay was the golden child, but my parents rapidly changed their tune when she failed university and started a party lifestyle for a bit, no longer the case. Suddenly, I was a favorite because I finished school and had a moderately successful life. I think it's BS that my parents have or had favorites and I largely keep my distance, but it's something that has bothered Kay a lot. So, my husband and I recently got pregnant, surprise, and though I keep a healthy distance from my parents, we still talk. Boundaries are really important to have with them because they will trample over your entire life and privacy. COVID restrictions are a thing and I'm not big on parties anyway, so I decided to just tell my family about the latest news during a monthly family video chat last Friday. Once everyone had done the preliminary catching up, my husband and I said we had some news and then I said I was pregnant. My parents, sisters, and grandmother lost it, screaming and laughing and crying in joy. This is the first grandchild, great-grandchild, niece, or nephew, so they understandably had pretty dramatic reactions. Once things calmed down a bit, I asked Kay if she was still there and she said yes, but she had to go and deal with something else. I thought it was odd, but didn't give it much further thought. Later, I get a text from Kay saying that she was going to make a pregnancy announcement then too, but that I had ruined it. I should have asked her specifically before making the announcement because she, as the firstborn, should have been the one to have the first grandchild and that my child would get all the intention and love and hers would get second rate. I sent her a text saying that I had no clue she was pregnant and congratulating her and that I was so sorry she didn't get to make the announcement when she wanted to. I then, possibly quite stupidly, asked her when her due date was and Kay said, don't worry, you're first and has not answered anything since. So, am I the asshole? I just found out that my best friend who is 21 has been sleeping with my dad who is 45 for years and now my mom and siblings hate me because they think I destroyed our family. It all started when I discovered that my dad had a lot of sketches of my best friend naked. He also had a lot of photos of her. I confronted him and he just told me that he was in love with her but that nothing had ever happened between them. I talked to my friend and she swore to me that she only loved him as a father and that she would never think of him as a man to flirt with and I believed her because I thought she was in a relationship. I mean, she used to have a boyfriend and then he moved to another country to study so they had a long distance relationship but apparently they broke up a few months after he moved but she made me believe that they were still together and that they were going to get married when he came back. But I found out that it was all a lie. I went to her apartment and saw that my dad's wallet was on one of the shelves and I asked her what his wallet was doing there and she told me that he went there to talk about me. I believed her again but then I asked her if I could stay in her apartment for the night and she said no. She was extremely nervous telling me no, so when I went home, I sent an Instagram message to her supposed boyfriend and he told me that they broke up years ago and I should know why. He told me he broke up with her because she told him that she slept with my dad and she was no longer a virgin. I was in complete shock. I went to her apartment the next day without telling her and my dad was already there. I told her everything her ex told me and she didn't say a word. She just sat there crying like an idiot and my dad told me he was sorry but that it just happened and that their marriage broke up when my mom got pregnant with my youngest brother on purpose so that he wouldn't break up with her. But honestly, nothing of anything they've told me matters to me. I feel like a fool. They have been sleeping together for more than three years and I was helping them without knowing. She was like a member of the family and every time she went to my house, I used to tell my dad to drive her to her apartment so that she could arrive safely and when he took longer than he should, he said that there was a lot of traffic or things like that and now that I know what they have been doing has made me sick. I feel like everything is my fault and my whole family thinks it is. My mom doesn't talk to me because she thinks all of this happened because I became friends with her and I should have realized what was happening. She blames me and I don't feel comfortable at home anymore and my siblings who are 10 and 8 also hate me because they think I made this mess. And no matter what I say, they think it's all my fault. What should I do or what should I say? I'm lost. I don't know what else to say for them to forgive me. Am I the asshole for still not letting my sister into my house after she made me miss my daughter's birth? Frankly, I don't know if I'm being an asshole. Family seems to think I am, so just want to know what others here think. My sister is 25 and was going to meet her dad, who was not my dad, for the first time in almost 18 or 19 years, and she was really nervous. She asked me to go with her for support. He was staying at some hotel about 30 minutes away, and the whole ride over there, my sister had my phone to give me directions. My wife was calling me because she'd gone into labor. Then my mother-in-law was calling me too. My sister put my phone on do not disturb without me knowing and erase the notifications. I didn't even realize it until after we were leaving from having lunch with him an hour and a half later that she'd been calling me. All my sister told me was that I had a missed call. When I found out, I was yelling at her the whole ride to the hospital. Her only excuse was that this was a big emotional moment for her meeting her dad and she was scared doing it alone knowing how her anxiety is. 
This was the only time they'd have to see each other since he was leaving in a few days and wouldn't be back for months. I really couldn't believe it. By the time we got there, my daughter had already been born a half hour ago. Don't get me wrong, I was so happy to know my daughter and wife were okay, but I was also devastated to have missed the birth of my first child. I couldn't even look at my sister. I told her to get an Uber to take her home because I didn't want her near me right now. My daughter is almost four weeks old and almost everyone has come to see her. Last weekend, my parents came over with my sister in the car, but I said I don't want her in my home right now. They got mad and left early. I kept hearing it from my family that I'm being completely unfair treating my sister like an outcast by not letting her in my home. But I'm just still angry at her right now and don't think I have it in me to be in her presence. So am I the asshole? My boyfriend has a longtime female friend who's clearly into him and I don't know what to do. This is going to sound like the typical insecure girlfriend, but I promise it's not like that. My boyfriend and I have been together for over six months and he's really great. He has a friend that he's had for years who is a girl. Normally, I'm not the type to be all like, you're not allowed to hang out with a single girl alone, but I'm considering telling my boyfriend that he's not allowed to hang out with this girl alone. This girl is obviously so into him and she definitely wants me to know she's coming for him. She keeps saying stuff like, you don't know him like I do yet. Or, we used to go to that place together all the time long before you guys started dating. She also had cute pet names for him and I didn't like it and as soon as I heard it, I told my boyfriend I didn't like it and he made her stop. Oh my gosh, Josh, remember when we went on a hike, just the two of us? That was the best day. I asked her straight up if she was into him and her response pissed me off. She was like, I know it's intimidating how close he and I are, but don't worry, you're the girlfriend, I'm just a friend, right? With a smug smile on her face. I got so mad, but I couldn't talk to my boyfriend about it. I want to tell him to cut her out of his life so bad, but I don't know if I can do that. My boyfriend's dad passed away two years ago with a heart condition. He told me that his dad was his best friend growing up, so it hit him really hard. That's why he says she's like a sister to him. That's why I don't know what to do. I already asked him to set boundaries like she can't text late at night or come over to his place unannounced all the time and not interrupting our alone time. He was the only family my boyfriend had. Apparently, this girl really helped him get through it. She apparently was there for him throughout the whole thing. My boyfriend doesn't realize that she's into him and I kind of don't blame him on that because all of her flirts are subtle enough that he doesn't realize but enough to get me riled up. I know my boyfriend isn't into her at all and he's completely friends on her but it's still so frustrating. I hate to admit it but she's so good at getting under my skin and I don't know what to do. I really need some advice. Am I the asshole for insulting my boyfriend's weight in front of his friends? Relevant to the story, my boyfriend is 6 feet tall and about 229 pounds. I am 5 foot 6 and about 120 pounds. From a medical standpoint, my boyfriend is obese and I am fairly normal weight. I really don't mind his weight. He was obese when I met him and that wasn't a problem for me. He has struggled with his weight for many years and constantly talks about wanting to lose weight but never actually diets or exercises. Again, not a huge deal for me, but I try to be supportive and offer him advice or general encouragement whenever he discusses his desire to lose weight. An occasional point of contention between us is that he has a tendency to offer me diet advice. For example, whenever I make a smoothie, he says, you shouldn't drink those things, they're full of hidden calories. Or when I do strength training, he says, you'll just gain weight because you'll put on too much muscle. It's annoying because nutrition and fitness are actually big passions of mine. I'm not an expert by any means, but I've done several courses and I feel I know more than the average person. Plus, I feel that I can demonstrably show that I can manage my own weight. So I don't like that he constantly feels the need to give me advice. This past weekend, he and I met up with a few of his friends at a beer garden. At some point, the guys were talking about their experiences with online dating. My boyfriend said that he'd used Tinder prior to meeting me, but then he deleted it because there were too many desperate fat chicks. He said this in such a disgusted, dismissive way that I genuinely saw red for a second and just blurted out, seriously, you're going to criticize fat chicks? There was a really long, awkward pause and then one of his friends made a joke and the conversation sort of moved on. But my boyfriend didn't speak to me for the rest of the evening. He texted me the next day and to say that it was incredibly rude and disrespectful to comment on his weight, especially in front of his friends. He says he thinks he wants a few days away from me to decide whether or not he can forgive me. I agree it was rude of me to call him out in front of his friends, but I also think what he said was obnoxious and borderline sexist. I've apologized to him, but I'm not sure if I'm genuinely the asshole here. So am I the asshole? Would I be the asshole if I got my younger sister's college scholarship revoked? I am 21 and have been an avid writer my entire life. I have written three full-length novels that I'm almost perpetually reworking and a book of short stories all set within the same universe. I've been working on this universe and the characters within it since I was 13 and it is all very personal to me. 
This week, I found out that my younger sister, who was 17, won a massive scholarship by submitting one of my short stories. I would have been upset regardless of which story she'd taken, but she happened to pick one based around my experience feeling othered because of my autism. My sister is not autistic and has actually bullied me in the past for my autistic traits, and so the fact that this was the story she picked to steal from me almost feels like an attack. In addition to submitting the story, she also had to write about what inspired her to write the piece, and even thinking about what she must have made up makes my blood boil. My parents are currently struggling for money, and this scholarship would pay for almost her entire first year. Both my parents know what my little sister did and they have both asked me to just let it slide because my sister having the scholarship is helping out our family a lot. They were also worried that the school my sister has been accepted to might find out and resent her admission. They're both using the excuse that she is just a little girl who made a dumb mistake and that it would be petty of me, an adult, to hurt her future over it. I don't want to hurt my parents financially and I don't even want to hurt my sister, but I don't want her to have the scholarship. I have all the proof that she is not the real author of the story, but would I be the asshole if I actually sent it in? Should I just let it go for the benefit of my family? My sister thinks I'm being selfish because I'm not putting my own health at risk to give her baby. So just over four months ago, I gave birth to my fourth and last child. It was a high-risk pregnancy and the birth was very difficult. I won't go into detail as it is still hard for me to think about, but me and the baby are both fine. My doctors advised me that it would be best not to have any more kids, and I agreed. My husband just recently had a vasectomy and is now recovering. My sister and her boyfriend have tried planning for a family for a while, but recently found out she can't conceive. She has been very upset about this, and I do feel sorry for her. Our family mentioned adoption or surrogacy for them, and even though my sister's boyfriend was on board, my sister said she needed time to think. Well, a couple of nights ago, my sister called me to tell me her and her boyfriend had agreed on surrogacy. We talked for a bit, and after a while, she brought up the fact how I had done so well in all of my pregnancy and how I must have loved being pregnant. I knew exactly where this was going and I reminded her how my last pregnancy went. Yet she told me everything was fine now, so what was my issue? I told her that even though I'm around now, I won't put myself through that again and just because I'm fine now doesn't mean everything will be fine the next time. She then straight up asked me if I will not be her surrogate and I told her no, I will not. She then started screaming into the phone about how selfish I am and how I need to look out for my sister and help her when she needed it. I told her I would help her with anything else but I was not putting my own health at risk and potentially leaving my kids without a mom and my husband a widow. My sister went on to continually scream about how selfish I was being and how much of a bitch I was. I hung up on her and I didn't think about it and went to bed. The next morning, my phone was blown up with Facebook messages and calls from friends and family. My sister had gone on Facebook to rant about me. She went on about how I wouldn't let her be a mom and how I had four kids of my own. She said I was a selfish sister for not giving her a baby. My mom and a small handful of people are extremely angry at me and call me all sorts of names for being selfish, while my dad, brothers, and several other people are taking my side. I should not have to put my own health at risk for her, and I don't think I'm being selfish at all, but I'm not sure how to fix this. I dated a guy named Joe for three months before he had left me to go back to his ex. Right after we broke up, I found out I was pregnant and now I'm 24 weeks. I let him know and he was ecstatic. Turns out his girlfriend had fertility issues and would likely never be able to get pregnant naturally and he has always wanted to be a father. Getting back together was out of the question for both of us, so he's still with his girlfriend. Joe was only allowed at the initial appointment because of COVID and we found out I was having twins. According to Joe, when he told his girlfriend she had a mental breakdown about her infertility and she wanted to talk to me. I met them at their house and his girlfriend Kim stated that she wanted to be involved in my pregnancy because she would eventually be the children's stepmother. She started telling me weird things like I needed to prepare for a home birth and that I need to formula feed so that they could have the babies half of the week and that she wanted one boy and one girl. She also wants the kids to call her mama since they would be calling me mommy. I shut her down and said I would make the best choices for my children and my body and left. Kim continued to be overbearing. She texted me every day about my eating habits, exercise habits, and bitching about how her job wouldn't let her take maternity leave. At my virtual genetics counseling appointment, she attended instead of Joe and took over the whole meeting trying to talk about her family history, which wasn't even relevant. When it came time for my 20-week level 2 scan, they allowed me one guess and Joe suggested I take him instead of him, which I refused to do. Joe did end up coming and he found out the gender because I wanted to keep it a surprise for me and we could throw a gender reveal party. I put a pregnancy announcement on my social media and Kim did too. She made an announcement stating that they're expecting twins the non-traditional way and how blessed they were. I was irritated but I kept my mouth shut until she had a gender reveal party, posted it on social media and didn't even invite me. 
She also announced that she's having a baby shower. I commented on her post and told her to stop treating me like a surrogate and that the kids aren't hers and Joe doesn't have custody until they are born. I then called Joe and reiterated all of this to him and I let him know that I'm not going to be seeing either of them until we went to family court and my mother would be my birthing partner. Joe and Kim and some of her family and friends are saying that I'm the asshole and her mother even called and insisted that I give her one of the babies like this is the parent trap. What do I do to get her off my back? My friend and I are 22 and we've known each other since childhood and we have always been really tight. We're pretty open with each other and there aren't many secrets in our friendship up until now. I'm not gonna lie, he's the golden child of his family and receives a bunch of support from his parents. His younger sister who is 21 gets it pretty bad and they treat her like shit. About a month ago, I was on OnlyFans and came across a profile and clicked on it. I shit myself and instantly clicked off the profile. I never would have clicked on her profile if I had known it was her and I wanted to respect her right to be anonymous on the website. I thought about it for a few days and eventually messaged her the following with the intention of helping her out. Hey Belle, this is really awkward for me and I hope you understand that I'm coming from a place of concern rather than anything else. I came across your OnlyFans the other day when at first I didn't know it was you. I clicked off once I realized. Just a heads up, I could identify you from your tattoos and I'd hate for your anonymity to be compromised if you continue to post since you have a fake name and all. I suggest blurring out these features, but if you're not bothered by this, then keep doing what you're doing. I just thought I touched base to be safe. I hope you're doing well and again, I hope you understand that I'm just looking out for your safety. See you soon. She replied and was thankful that I pointed that out. She thought her tattoos and other features weren't unique enough to identify her and she told me that she'll make a change. I saw her a couple days later at a party and she gave me a hug and things are back to normal. Fast forward, somebody else had identified her and had been collecting images from before I messaged her and up until now. They sent them to her parents. Nobody knows who this person is and they remained anonymous. Belle's parents ripped her a new one and her brother went on a huge rant on Facebook calling her all kinds of names. He came over for a few drinks and began to unload on me. I didn't really react and just kept telling him to calm down. He asked why I wasn't so surprised and I shrugged and said that a lot of girls have OnlyFans now and it's not a big deal. Eventually, it came out that I knew. I know I should have kept my mouth shut, but he was suspicious that I kept defending a slut. My friends have now booted me out of the group chat and said I broke bro code. So am I the asshole for not telling my best friend that his sister has an OnlyFans? My husband and I found out two months ago that we are expecting our first child. Last week, we officially announced it via text and phone calls to our friends and family. The next day at work, I found out that one of my coworkers had taken the photo of my sonogram I had sent them in the group text and posted it on her social media to fool her ex-boyfriend, who she broke up with a few weeks ago into thinking she was pregnant. I never wanted my sonogram on the internet. I don't have a Facebook or an Instagram or anything like that and I feel extremely uncomfortable that it's out there without me being able to control the audience of who was looking at it. When I had expressed to my coworker that I was upset, she said I was being, quote, dramatic and I'm just looking for something to be upset over because I'm pregnant. She said she covered up the identity information and that it was only up for a few hours and she told her ex-boyfriend the truth after making him sweat for a bit. Half of my friends are saying that I overreacted and it's just a harmless joke, while the other half says she completely stepped over the line. Are pregnancy hormones making me more upset about this than I should be? Four years ago, I broke up with my boyfriend, Dan, but I decided not to tell him. Dan had been coming around to my apartment and my work, even though I repeatedly told him I was not interested. I had been planning to move to get away from him, and I didn't want him to have an excuse to be in my life. So when I moved away, I didn't tell him I was pregnant, and I didn't put his name on the birth certificate. Last year, when my daughter was two, I got married, and my husband adopted her. Dan and my sister were still friends in high school, and since Dan still lives in my hometown, they occasionally catch up. A week ago, Dan called me and said that he found out through my sister that I'd been pregnant not long after we broke up. He was furious that I had never told him and that the baby might be his and accused me of keeping him away from his daughter. I told my husband and he's furious that I never told him about my daughter's father. He was always under the impression that her father hadn't wanted to be in the picture and he's been cold to me ever since I told him. I do not ever want Dan around my daughter and I think I was justified in my decision to protect her from him. But Dan keeps calling and asking to see his daughter and my husband says I betrayed both him and Dan by lying about this.